Okay, I'm gonna be cleaning a soundboard so I can have all of my tools for cleaning a soundboard carried in this duffel bag. I have dampened this cloth, which I'll use later. I'm leaving it on the duffel bag for now. I've got the other tools that I need laid out here. Soundboard cleaning steel, a spurlock soundboard cleaning tool, a brush, and a small rule. And here is my very small vacuum cleaner. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the soundboard cleaning steel, and I'm gonna be running it over the soundboard and collecting dust on this and then vacuuming it off. Now, most soundboards will be so filthy that this will come up really dirty. I clean these yearly, so this one's not that dirty, but this is just to show you the technique. So bear with the sound of the vacuum, but here I'm gonna start by dusting the soundboard with the Spurlock tool. vacuum cleaner in hand, I'm going to go ahead and clean the um, some other areas. I'm going to vacuum the grating really quickly here, and then I'm going to vacuum around the pin block area. and just brush between the pins and that'll disrupt the dust and basically scare it up into the vacuum cleaner. finished with the vacuum cleaner and the brush. When we were using the Spurlock tool, there are areas of the soundboard that just can't get cleaned by it, particularly this really high-end treble. So now I'm gonna, this is um, damp chaser wicking material and I'm, I just use it because it's cheap and disposable, and it slides easily on the soundboard as long as you have the lighter colored down. So you've got a darker side and a lighter side, and this is just damp. I mean, I whisked it under water and then made sure the water spread evenly. 
So now I'm going to put the light side down on the soundboard and run this around with the spur lock tool. So up here at the double wand, you want to have it close to the damper so you can then reach it. I just keep grabbing the end of the cloth with my tool and moving my tool down the stringing pattern or down the strings towards the treble end. Then when you get to this section, I switch to my little ruler and just push this very carefully and very gently. And then this is an area that, you know, I, I like to get close to the edges. And really make sure that this area has no dust. Then when you get here, usually you can grab it with your fingers. Sometimes you need to use um, oh, tweezers to get it out. And you know, again, this was really a pretty clean soundboard. And that's all the dust you, or the dirt you can see on this. But typically, if this was a typical piano, this might be really filthy. And you might actually have to run it through a second time starting another corner. So now, after I do that, I put this onto my soundboard cleaning steel. So this is just a piece of steel that's covered with plastic. And you thread it kind of like a needle. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put it underneath these double wounds. So I'm gonna get all the dust out from there. And again, this piano is so crazily clean. Typically, this would be just filthy. Then, making sure you hang on to the end of this, I now put it into the lightening holes and run it to the back of the bridges because often that area is really dusty and it's an area that's very visible. And then when you get here, there's certain areas you just can't reach and you just do the best you can. And I am now finished cleaning the soundboard. And if you were in a customer's home, they would probably be so thrilled with what you just did here. And you would have improved the look of the piano so much that whether they want you to tune it again in a year, they'll have you back in a year because they'll want you to dust the soundboard again. That's it.